Hi, I'm Karen Stewartson, and you're watching Government Technology Spectrum with more research, more science, more technology. U.S. airmen are cooking up something hot, but this recipe won't land them on a TV cooking show. Add five parts shredded paper, one part sawdust, and 10 parts water. Mix in a huge container, press really hard, and voila, you've created fuel pucks or fuel bricks. Some airmen in Afghanistan are doing this to help local orphanages that need fuel to cook and stay warm. In a four-month period, volunteers made more than 1,600 pucks and 700 bricks. The pucks burn for up to 20 minutes and the bricks for 40. Meet Google's talking shoes, aka your personal cheerleader or your drill sergeant. So how do they work? Say you're playing your heart out during a game, but you don't have someone to pat you on your back, the talking shoes will compliment you. You've made me a very proud shoe. Wait till I tell my friends about this. On the other hand, if you've been inactive for a while or you're supposed to be working out and you're not, the shoes will yell at you. The kicks are retrofitted Adidas with a tiny built-in computer, a pressure sensor, a gyroscope, one of these, and a Bluetooth and speaker. When you were a kid, did you ever do this? Were watch batteries shiny silver-coated temptations? Well, two university researchers at Carnegie Mellon teamed up to develop edible electronics. You heard that correctly. Not only are these devices safe to put on your tongue, but you're supposed to swallow them. The pill-sized devices are biodegradable and activate when wet. Talk about a fantastic voyage. Specific applications have not yet been developed, but the researchers say they could be used for stimulating damaged tissue or monitoring gastric health. The edible creations are powered by sodium ion batteries, which can be made cheaply, and they're also less invasive than implanted devices. So what do you think of edible electronics? I'd like to know, so leave your comments below. For more on Spectrum and other tech stories, read this month's Government Technology. For GTTV, I'm Karen Stewartson.